Hey everybody, I'm Kayla. In this video, I wanted to talk about the helix piercing. Helix covers pretty much everything along the top part of the ear. Most people refer to it as a cartilage piercing. When they come in to me and ask for a piercing, they usually say, can I get a cartilage piercing? But a lot of the ear is made up of cartilage, and this top part specifically is the helix. The helix part of the ear is the most commonly pierced cartilage piercing. They are most often done improperly, such as at home with a sewing needle, push pin, something like that, or with a piercing gun. With the helix piercing, the healing time kind of varies from person to person. Usually it takes about four to five months to fully heal, and this can heal faster or slower on some people, depending on the aftercare and how their body handles it. This piercing does have a slower time because it has low blood flow. There isn't, there aren't many blood vessels in the area, and so it takes a little bit longer for the area to heal. This area of the ear is also prone to irritation bumps or hypertrophic scarring. Those little bumps will come if it is slept on, if it's pulled or tugged, maybe tangled with hair. Usually I recommend keeping your hair up out of the way. You can pin it up or you can shave a little bit of your hair to allow it to heal. And doing this is a pretty good estimate of how long it will take your piercing to heal because as the, gr as the hair grows out, the piercing is healing. Usually by the time the hair is long enough, the piercing is pretty good and healed. Because this area is prone to irritation bumps, you want to be extra careful with it. Cleaning it properly and continuously, keeping your hands off it, try not to play with it. It does take a little bit of work. The Helix piercing has quite a few options for jewelry. Usually we'll pierce with a barbell or a flat back. You can also have it pierced with a hoop. Usually we don't recommend this, but if you are experienced with piercings, then you may be able to get away with it. If you aren't, then you can always switch the hoop later. I highly discourage wearing butterfly backing earrings in the helix piercing, mostly because it's really uncomfortable on the back of the ear and it can eventually like, keep poking you on the head. It's really not a good idea to use this earring for healing because a lot of crusties and dried blood can get stuck under there and make it more difficult for your piercing to heal. So I'd recommend going with a flat back or a barbell is probably the best choice. The reason we usually discourage wearing a hoop starting out is because the hoop can constantly rotate in the piercing just because it has no end, basically it's a full hoop. Some do have balls from end to end, but then you do also have that long post. Usually when you do get pierced with a hoop, it will take longer than getting it done with the stud, just because the body has to adjust to the round curvature shape of the hoop. I personally only pierce 15 years or older with a cartilage piercing. Usually I say this age and sometimes I'll go down to 14 years old. I kind of range it from high school age. Mostly I do this because the helix piercing does take a lot of aftercare, and usually teenagers are a little bit more careful and considerate when taking care of their piercings, rather than somebody a little bit younger. The most common gauge or thickness to the jewelry is a 16 gauge. When you do have it pierced with a 16 gauge, then you have a huge variety of jewelry to choose from. It can also be pierced using a 20 or 18 gauge, but usually those are a little more uncommon and you have, you have less choice for jewelry. Helix piercing is not really like the lobe. You can't wear the jewelry for a few months and then take it out and expect the piercing to still be open. They can close very quickly. I would recommend having it for a year or even longer before removing the jewelry for an extended period of time. 
And so the last thing about the helix piercing is that usually you will get a longer stud for swelling because this area does kind of swell up a bit. I've seen some really extreme swellings on this piercing, so as a piercer we are just cautious to put a longer piece of jewelry in the area. And once the swelling is gone, which takes about three weeks maximum, uh, we recommend switching this out to a shorter stud because as the piercing is healing, um, if you are adding any pressure, such as sleeping on it, the piercing can slowly migrate. And I'll include pictures. That's all I have for the helix piercing. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye!